Welcome back to the Lucky Zucchini channel. Today we're getting poked in the ultrasound. So I have this handy dandy stand for my car. So I'm going to attempt to record and drive while we're going to get Lexi's favorite pre poke pancakes. So basically, this is Lexi's next two month oncology appointment. Um, I scheduled it for the morning so hopefully we could go back to school afterwards. But the oncology team surprised me and said, just kidding, we're going to schedule you a heart echocardiogram afterwards. Um, the reason being that they want to check and make sure that the chemo did not damage her heart. Um, she took three rounds of doxorubicin in the first part of delayed intensification. That is a chemo that's really hard on your heart. And she also had a round of cyclophosphamide. Um, she had that once because it's really nasty. And she had that, I believe that started the second half of delayed intensification. Um, the doxorubicin is the one where the third dose of that, everyone had told me in the leukemia world, like by the third dose of doxorubicin by that weekend, you'll see the hair coming out. And what little hair she still had from when he got shaved the first time, because it was all falling out, it was short, you know. Literally, by that, we got the doxo on a Tuesday, and by that Saturday, it was just coming out in clumps and shedding. And I just asked her, did she want me to just shave the rest of it? And she was like, yeah, because it was annoying her. So those were some of her nastiest chemos. That's like the worst phase of treatment because that's the last of the frontline treatment and they blast away at all the cells one last time before they go into maintenance chemo, which is the other year of treatment. And you kind of just like slow down with the chemo and the steroids. So that was the whole point of those chemos was to be really nasty. Well, the caveat is that, you know, chemo is not great for your body. It kills the good cells along with the bad, which is why it suppresses your immune system, which means it can also um, hurt your organs. She had high liver elevated numbers throughout treatment, but they aren't concerned with that until your elevated numbers are like 20 times the normal amount because chemo just raises your liver numbers. So that's one of the things they look out for, your ALT and your AST. A lot of kids have diabetic issues on treatment. The steroids cause them to go into diabetes for temporarily while they're on treatment. So just a lot of things that can happen. So these particular chemos are just known to be not great for your heart. So she had an echocardiogram at the beginning of treatment to see her baseline before she started all the chemo. And then they did another echocardiogram again right before she started the nasty treatments and delayed intensification to make sure her heart was still all right. And then she hasn't had one since. So now that she's over a year off treatment and the, her body has detoxed the chemo, they could get a really clear picture of how her heart looks after all the dust has settled so that's the plan today i don't know if we'll make it back in time for school but if we do i'll try to take her there so we shall see what happens we'll see you at the hospital Well, we made it to the big hospital. So we are going to head inside and get checked in. The plan is oncology, 9.45, see uh, for labs, and then see the oncologist at 10, 
and then we have to hurry up and hopefully they're on time because at 10.30 we have to see cardiology. Alrighty, yeah. we'll see you inside, bye. How you can take big deep breaths to calm yourself down. Okay, we'll leave Stuffy right there. So you can hang on to your Stuffy with one hand, whichever hand she's gonna not gonna use, okay? Yes, just breathe. So you're planning a fine. birthday party, huh? Yeah, do you wanna tell her about your birthday party? Sure. What what kind is it? It's a unicorn party. Unicorn party. Oh my goodness. We never got to have your unicorn party, did we? So I saved all the decorations. Aww. Look, how's that band-aid? Cute. Ooh. Diamonds and pink and hearts. That's hard. awesome. Just getting my setup right now. Nothing okay. stopping me out of okay? Just breathe. Deep breath. Show daddy how good you can do. What did He's you ask so for for your birthday? Jojo Siwa bows? Did you? What else did you ask for? Polly Pocket, oh, which was around when I was a kid, oh, and apparently oh, Polly Pocket's yeah. making a comeback, I guess. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I was like, what? I had those when I was a kid. What else did you ask for? You don't remember? That's okay. You, you're just, okay, you just want to breathe. That's fine. Okay. Just breathe, and she'll take a look and see which one. Let's see if we can't. Oh, a little farther. You're all right. Remember, you're showing Daddy how brave you are, right? You're going to show Daddy how brave you are? I'll be so proud of you. I know. Aren't you excited for Daddy to see this? Daddy, I'm just looking right now. Good okay, breath. Okay, just breathe. Big breath. And let it out. Breathe in. Good job. There you go. Breathe in. It's okay. Breathe in. Breathe in. Breathe in and let it out. Okay. It's okay. I got your hand. I got your hand. You're going to feel cold soap. Okay. Breathe in. Breathe in. I know. It's been two months. Breathe in. Breathe. Deep breaths. Slow breathing, slow breathing. Deep breath. You can do this. You're doing good. Good job, babe. Breathe, just breathe. Just breathe. Okay, you're doing good. Just breathe, okay? Good job, good job. Good job. Daddy's gonna be so proud of you. Daddy is going to be so proud of you. Look at you. Keep breathing. Just breathe. Deep breath. Don't look. Don't look. Don't freak yourself out. Don't look. Look at me. Look at the camera. Tell Daddy you're doing a good job, right? You're doing a good job? Yeah. Deep breath. Deep breath. Look at the camera. Don't look over there. Look over here. That way you don't freak yourself out. Big breath. Good job. You're doing amazing. Okay. You're doing good. You're doing good. It's being stubborn today, isn't it? Yeah. I think it's it alright. You're doing good, kiddo. Your veins just being a little stubborn. It's okay. Just take a deep breath. Do you need her to like squeeze her hand in a fist or something? Or? No, her vein blew. So oh, yeah. that stinks. If you have to do it again, we understand. It's all right. Let's Baby. see. Let's see what we got first. You did great. Hey, 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 hey. It's okay. <laughs> We're gonna. What kind of what kind of prize do you think we should okay. look for? Okay. Look at me. Look at me. Don't don't look at them. Look away. That way you don't. Think I know, <laughs> baby. I know. I know. You did so. You're gonna be able to tell everybody you did it twice, okay, though. Okay. You just breathe. No. You gotta breathe. No, no. Okay, you baby. gotta breathe, baby. Calm down. Calm down. Just take a breath. Good job. Take a breather. Good just job. breathe. Just breathe. Just breathe. And it's it's okay. 
It's okay. Just okay. breathe. Just don't look. Don't look. Okay. Don't look. Don't look. You're doing so good. Just squeeze my hand if you need to. I don't squeeze. need to breathe. You don't, you don't need, need to breathe, breathe while you need what? oxygen, kiddo. Don't hold your breath, okay? Just breathe like normal then. Guess what? Oh. We're done. Yay. It worked that time. Good job. I, to be done with it. I know you do. I'm sorry. <laughs> Done. I wish you didn't have to, but unfortunately we gotta. You did so good though, and we got the good one on video too for Dad, the second one, so that way he can see you were so brave. You did it twice. <laughs> you did such a good job. So we are waiting on our doctor to come in. So the reason you saw Lexi get poked in both arms was because her vein blew in the first one. Um, no, no fault of the nurses nothing that she did wrong. It's just sometimes Lexi's veins aren't the best after all this time of getting it done, you know, and her vein just blew. And so they tried to see if they had enough, but unfortunately they did not have enough blood the first time to get what they needed. So they had to switch to the other arm and as soon as they got that vein, it went perfect and it didn't have any issues and they got it right away on the first try. So that's what happened there. Lexi was really brave. I promise I don't have anything that hurts, okay? <laughs> This is just routine, Lexi. They're just keeping a check yep. on your heart to make sure none of the chemo did anything. That's right. We just got back to the car. Um, we're done with all of her appointments. Oncology was pretty quick. Um, and they just let us know, hey, we're just scheduling the ultrasound of her heart just to make sure that, like I said, the chemo didn't damage anything. So they'll keep regular updates on it. They told us if we didn't hear from them, then there was nothing remarkable found and it everything looked normal so unless we hear from them that means no news is good news right Lex yeah so how was your poke today I had to get two how was that for you how did that make you feel not good she didn't really like getting two pokes as you saw but you know what you were brave and strong and you did it anyway how was the heart ultrasound? Pretty good. Pretty good, just kind of cold jelly. The worst part was the taking off of the leaves, the little round things. Those stickers are not great, but he did it pretty quick and it wasn't too bad, right? Yeah. So now we are going to go home. It's late, we need to get some late lunch. And I don't know if we're gonna have enough time to make it back to school. It depends on how the traffic is on the way home. Yeah. And we'll have to see, so. I'll let Lexi close out the video for us. What do you want to tell everyone? Subscribe and hit the 